But next to a missing persons case. In 1998, Matthew Carroll disappeared without trace from Roxburgh in Limerick. It's an unusual case, and 25 years on, we're still looking for answers. Detective Garda Shane Kirwan from Roxburgh Garda Station joins us now. Uh, Shane, this is a, a reappeal. The case of Matthew Carroll, tell us more. Yeah, Sharon, it's um, Matthew's 25 year anniversary since he went missing. The 8th of June 1998, he went missing after uh, being out socialising at the steering wheel pub in, in Roxburgh. So what happened was uh, John Crew Park uh, Football Club that had won the Lawson Cup the day before. He was out socialising with friends. He and, was a big footy fan, I gather. A, a big footy fan. He went to all the games and, and would have would have followed him around. Yeah. Yes. Those were good-natured celebrations. He was a very popular young fella. Yes, he would have been a well-known, well-liked young fella around. They were good-natured. Um, like I said, they'd won quite a significant cup in the area. So the celebrations were, were, were around and, and everybody was in good spirits. He decided he would head for home. Yeah, he, he decided just before 8pm on the day that he was going to head home back to his uh, to his home place there, which was only a matter of a couple of hundred yards up the road. He he, he left the, the steering wheel pub and headed in the direction of home. And unfortunately, he never made it home. He was never seen again or never heard from again. So just a couple of minutes walk and he disappears somewhere on that walk. Yes, Sharon. Um, it's only a five minute walk possibly up to where he's from. Uh, no real distance at all. And like I said, he didn't make it home and, and nobody has heard from him since. So the question is, what happened? Did some misfortune befall him? Was he picked up by a car? We really need to know. Yeah, we're, we're seeking information, Sharon. That's why I'm here tonight. We're looking for information. Uh, an extensive investigation was carried out into this missing person. Um, incident room was set up, many lines of inquiries followed. We need more information from members of the public. Uh, somebody out there will know something, Sharon, that they haven't come forward with the Gardaí yet. Do you know, uh, through the passage of time, people's loyalties may have changed. People might have information that they didn't come forward at the time. Yeah. We're even willing to speak to people who may have spoken to us previously and may have information. So that's why I'm here tonight. I'm seeking information, people to come forward and help us with this investigation. And you do so on behalf of the family who have been to hell and back, hell and back on this huge one. suffering, Sharon, you know, to his family and his friends and, and, and the local community mm. um, throughout all these years. His daughter was only very small when when um, when Matthew passed away or when Matthew went missing. Went missing. Yeah. And basically, so what? We are hoping to give a bit of closure to the family. It's the least yeah. they deserve, exactly. right? Exactly, yeah. Any okay. information. That appeal has gone out. Uh, Shane, thank you. Thank you. And if you do have any information that could help investigators, here's how to get in touch. His daughter was only very small when, when, um, when Matthew passed away, or when Matthew went missing. Went missing. daughter was only very small when when um, when Matthew passed away or when Matthew went missing. his daughter was only very small when when um, when Matthew passed away or when Matthew went missing, went missing.